The first thing you want to do is take the air mouse, which is the separate remote that came with the smart box. And if you open up the back where the batteries are, there's a small little USB key in on the inside of the lid of the batteries. So if you plug that into any one of the three USB ports on the smart box, it's basically a sensor. So if you put in the batteries, close the air mouse up, and if you hold on the Android man in the center, a cursor comes up on the screen, as you can see there now. So the next thing you want to do here is go into settings, into settings. Now you have two choices here. You have either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Now, uh, Ethernet is always recommended. Today now I'm just going to use Wi-Fi. So if you're using Ethernet, you just click on Ethernet here and you connect the 60 foot Ethernet cable that came with the smart box from your smart box to your router. So if you are choosing Wi-Fi, you click on Wi-Fi here. You click here, that's me, Vodafone. If you click on that, it'll ask you for your password. You type the password in using the air mouse, the keys in the air mouse, and just click connect now. So you can see there I'm already connected. So once that's done, you just press escape, go back out, or F4 on your remote. And the next thing you want to do is go into Kodi here. So click on Kodi. So the very first thing you want to do inside Kodi is just escape out of all that. Is go to the far right into this thing called Wizard. So if you click on Wizard, and then if you click here, install the black box. And then the next one here, install latest build, install build or install latest build. I'm not going to do it now today because it takes three or four minutes. And this is already updated. So once you click latest build, it'll start downloading the latest build. It'll take about three or four minutes to fully complete. Once that's done, click OK and turn your box off and turn it back on again. And then it's updated. Now an update comes in this every Saturday. The update really is for the live TV. If some of the channels go down in the live TV, you can update the build. But other than that, like for movies and box sets, they'll all update automatically anyway. So if you click escape here, and I'm gonna start on the very left here, all the few different features. So the first one here is TV. And if you click under that, it's the TV guide. So that's your TV guide here. So it gives you all the different TV channels. Just click on one from there. That's RT. And if you want to click out of it, you just uh, hold in the air mouse and just click the stop button here. Again, it was just there is a wealth of TV channels in here. Just click all the way down, loads of them, as you can see. And towards the back, then you've got the the movie channels. And you also have which is the sports channels there. Okay, so that's the TV guide. I'll just click out of that. And the next one here is documentaries. So I'm just going to pick one here. If they say Phoenix documentaries. And again, loads of documentaries. A lot of the up-to-date ones as well. I'm just going to give you an example here, look, that's the, the one, the Back to the Future documentary, 2015, just give you an example, and you can always just fast forward here, as you can see, the picture quality here is HD as well, so that's documentaries, so again, press your escape button, the next one here is Catch Up TV, and catch-up TV is really for soaps, so we've got like soap catch-up or wheel of soaps, pretty much the same thing. So we'll say Soap City. And then here you have all your different soaps, and you just, just say click on one of them, say click on Neighbours. It's Neighbours here, 13th January, that was last night's episode. So... You just watch back different episodes then of your favorite soaps. So I'll just click out of that. That's your soaps. 
And another one here is Live TV. It just gives you some TV channels. Just loads of different TV channels. Gives us different options here. I mean, I'm just gonna click that back out of that. That's just Sea Cloud, it's just one of the apps in there. I mean, there's loads of them here Three Amigos, um, English TV, Philemon. So, just to give you a, a kind of a backup, really, I suppose, for the TV channels. Just in case if one of the ones in, um, in the TV guide that we just looked at previously, if one of those wasn't working, it's just a, a good backup to go to. So, just click out of that. It's your live TV. And you've got World TV then as well. You've got uh, TV channels from uh, different countries. So the international channels, they're all in there. So that's your TV section. Okay, the next one I'm going to, I'm going to go to is TV shows. You've got different options here again. <clears throat> you've got all the British box sets. And these ones here, Sauce TV, Engine, Stream Engine and 123 TV shows. They're all just different apps really that uh, you get all the different box sets from. Personally, I prefer to use this one here, 123 TV shows. So if you click on that, and if you click on the very top here and press OK, you can actually do a search. So you can just do a search here. One of the TV shows I'm watching at the moment is Homeland, so I'll just Type in Homeland here and click Done. So there you have it for all the uh, one, two, three, four, five seasons. So I'm just going to click on season four, just finished that yesterday. Just say click on episode one there. That's pretty much instant, it goes straight in. Just fast forward a bit. It says TV shows, so I'll click out of that. The next thing then is movies. Again, you have all different options here for movies. Personally, again, I prefer this one Rock Crusher movies. Again, it's very instant. You just say click on current movies. And there you have all the top movies here, the big short, even some of the movies that aren't even on the cinema, Spectre, Creed, The Hateful Eight. Just click on The Hateful Eight. And again, it's very instant. It goes straight in. Picture quality is HD as well. So that's your movies, okay. Moving on then to this IPTV, it's basically just kind of, uh, again, another backup for the TV channels. I don't personally use it a lot, so, but you can, you know, feel free to, to use it. I hear good things about this, this one here, Dexter TV, so it's supposed to be very reliable. Um, sports, here we go, Sky Sports 1 to 5 and BT Sports. So we're just going to pick one, say Sky Sports 3. And it give you options of three different links. Just click the first one there. Now it just takes a second just to kind of click in. And the picture quality is okay. It's 480p. It's, uh, it's not exactly HD. It's pretty good though. So that's just for Space Wars 3. There is better out there, and I'll show you there in a second. So let's click out of sports there. So that's your sports. Now underneath here, you've got uh, different options. Now this one here, it's very good, NJM Soccer. So I'll just click on that. And say click on HD Footy. Okay, there's no games on at the moment. That's grand. So if there was, if there were games on, you could see all the games 
they were coming on and a lot of them are in HD. So I'll click on here, the UK Sports. Here we go, Sky Sports 1. Excellent picture quality again. So click out of that. Let's give you another option here now. Robocop Sports is very good as well, especially for live games. And you can also uh, watch back some um, some previous matches on it. And another one here, Woody Sports and Money Sports, excellent. So I'm just gonna click into Woody's, just to give you an idea. So I click on UK Sports here. Now some of these links they mightn't work okay this one does straight in yeah picture quality is excellent on it okay so click out of that and another option i'll show you here is if you keep keep pressing right there's a thing called a subscription tv now it's a paid service it's not in our it's in, we're not affiliated with this uh with these services at all but it just gives you an option of I suppose if you want everything in HD, sports mania here, just to give you an idea, it'll give you all the sports channels in HD for fifty pounds sterling a year, which I think is excellent value. And Sports Nation, sorry, Stream TV box, uh, I think it's hundred pounds a year. It'll give you a lot of the sports in HD, a lot of the t a plus TV channels as well. So that's just another option for you. Rua is probably the best, but it's very expensive. I think it's coming in at around. I'd say 16, 17 pounds a month sterling, which is quite expensive, you know, compared to the rest here. Uh, personally, I think sports mania, if you're into sports, which most people buy the box are, sports mania is definitely worth uh, something to check out. You can actually buy a day pass, weekly pass, monthly pass, you know, so you don't have to like, you know, pay the full 50 pounds. Again, it's just, if you want all your sports in HD, it is, a, it, it is an option. Now, a lot of the sports are in HD in the box. A lot of the live games are in HD. But if you want your Sky Sports 1 to 5, BT Sports in HD all of the time, you know, it might be worth something, you know, it might be worth considering. So, Boys Toys, again, another one, another good one. I think it's about £10 sterling a month. And it gives you a lot of HD, a lot of the sports in HD and a lot of TV channels as well. So, again, I mean, if you want to sign up for these guys, if, to say if you clicked on Sports Mania, click on that you just go to sportsmania.eu and you can pay by paypal just gives you the different options then to pay by you know if you want a, a day pass monthly pass weekly pass yearly pass so that's your subscription and then you just put in your username and password so it's very simple to set up very simple to sign in so that's your subscription next one here is i'm going to go to was live sports we've kind of covered you know um njm you know if there's live games on that's great to go to operation robocop again money sports and there's a kid section here you know there's a lot of uh, kids cartoons you know for my own kids i always go to this one here kid stuff and you have all the different peppa pigs you know doc mac stuff and they're all in there that's your kid stuff. Just gonna click on one from there, Peppa Pig. And, you know, they're all playback, so you can just, you know, you can pause if you like, you know, play again yes. and stop. So, now I just want to give you um, just a small bit of uh, homework, I suppose, just to kind of, if you ever have any problems with the, the wizard, just to unclog it, I suppose, really. If you just click on wizard here. Every now and again, it's good to do this. It's the maintenance section, click on maintenance. 
and clear cache. So there's 20 files found. I, I will always delete those. That's, uh, the more files found, the better, you know, the, the less clogged the, uh, the system is. So click yes. Perfect. Okay. Now another section here I want to show you here is if you go to add-ons and video add-ons, they're just kind of more backups, really more apps. You have them all down here. This one here, football replays. I know a lot of guys that are buying the box are buying for the matches, so. I mean, you know, you can watch back pretty much every match, every all the top matches here, like the Tottenham and uh, Leicester City that was on yesterday. You can watch that back. So I'm just gonna click on that. You know, and I mean the picture quality. Look, it's HD. It's excellent. Okay. So that's pretty much everything I said here. Now I want to take you back out to the main menu. So if you click F4. And I just want to show you some of the apps that are in the box. So if you click on apps here, and this one here, Mobdro. Sorry, no, click on apps again. Mobdro. You know, there's a, there's a sports section in here. You know, the picture quality I think is good. It's, um. Sky Sports 4 there now, and everything's pretty much instant on it. You know, you've got all the sports channels there. So it's just uh, the sports section of Mob Show. Sorry, now click back into it again. It's also good for TV channels here. So if you click on that, Again, like I mean, if one of the TV channels wasn't working in the TV guide, you could always just go to Map Draw. And you know, if you scroll down here, you've RT one or two, TV three. That means he's walking on. So that's RT one again. So uh, that is Map Draw. So another app I want to show you here, which is my favorite app inside here, and it's got everything. It's got all the sports, all the TV channels. The pitch quality is excellent. Called UK TV now, and you, it just requires um to register. You just you know it's just an email and password. So I've already registered. So I'm just gonna log in. So once you put in your password, just put in, click on the save password, and it'll always log in straight away. Now the downside to this is there are ads that come pop up and every now and again. Um, but I mean, if you can just get over that, you know, it's, it's definitely worth going into. So if we just click on the top here, TV channels, you know, you've got a, say, sports section here. You know, you've got all the sports. Again, there's your, there's your uh, bit of advertising. So if you, if you hold your, you know, have your finger on the escape button, so just constantly escape out of it. You know, it's a small price to pay really for what you're getting. So just click on one of them, BT Sports 1. Add comes up, press escape. There you go, BT Sports, very reliable streams, always good quality. So I'm just gonna click out of that. And if you click on entertainment, that'll give all the TV channels. Again, press escape. The RT ones and twos are probably the most popular for my customers. So I just can press escape, click on the link one. And Dr. Phil is back again. Okay, so that is pretty much the UK TV now. So another thing I'm gonna show you again in apps is Showbox. I don't use Showbox a lot, I use the the Cody and the Rock Crusher movies um, when I'm watching movies, but you know, I mean, you can, it's up to yourself. 
still a very good app. Remind me later. Um, again, it's got all the, the top movies in here. Hateful Eight, Creed, you know, Spectre, Legend, The Martian, you know. And, you know, most of the time they're in HD quality as well. So that is Showbox. Now the last thing I want to show you here is something that I use a lot is the RT player. It's very good for live TV for RT. So the stream is normally very good and you can play back as well. You can play back your favorite TV shows. I'm just going to show you the playback there first. So if you say if you go to the, say the latest. So you've got all the different TV shows there now. They were on yesterday, say. Operation Transformation, it's on last night, so if you just click on that. And you just click Watch Now. Now ads do come up right on the, uh, on the RT player. Usually about a minute of ads, so you know it's uh, so it's your playback. So I'm not going to waste that 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 amount of time. Just to get, just to show you that it's actually working. Um, it's like there now. Sorry now. Okay. Just going to click on the live TV just to show you here. Yeah, like sometimes it doesn't show you for, it doesn't allow you to uh, watch RT1 live. So at the moment, no, it's not watching that. It's not allowing you watching that, sorry. Just there. That's RT2 live, so that's pretty much it.